Happening now in central New York, Reading for a little chill and the frost that will come along with it. Our weather authority meteorologist Violet Skybor explains how that frost shows up on your lawn. We are halfway through spring and you may have noticed the grass is starting to grow. Leaves are blooming on trees and even some wildflowers are blooming. But frost still remains a threat even at this point in the season. Favorable conditions needed for frost is clear skies, light winds, some moisture in the air with temperatures in the 30s and moisture on the ground. We're going to see all of those looking ahead to tonight. At our weather stations, even near 36 degrees, the ground is colder than the actual air temperature because colder air sinks. And with water molecules in the air, once they drop and touch a frozen surface such as the ground, they freeze into ice crystals forming what we know as frost. And yes, there is still the threat of frost even as we look ahead to May, even after this record warm April we've had. The first 23 days was the warmest on record, and this entire April could be the second warmest April we've ever had. So the ground is definitely thawed, but that threat of frost still exists. Here in Syracuse, our latest frost date extends all the way out to May 10th. And last frost for those higher elevations to the southeast and northeast is as late as May 20th and May 30th. So it's probably still early to grow at least up until May if you wanted to plant anything. And if you do have anything in the ground, make sure to cover it up tonight. Reporting on the weather deck, I'm meteorologist Violet Skyber. Back to you. Appreciate